Welcome back guys and uh, today we've got Shaz back in the house as well. So we've got some proper film quality going on today, so enough of that horizontal iPhone stuff that you guys had to deal with last week. Proper stuff today. Shaz is feeling better but I'm feeling a bit mashed up but it is what it is. Right, today we are tuning a GT3 901.2 2018 and we are fitting a JCR race titanium exhaust system and then going to custom tune it. They've already done some baseline figures, so um, yes, yeah, making good power is a healthy, healthy example. So it'll be good to see what that does. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of other bits and pieces going on, as always, in the case. And apart from that, you might see some paperwork lying around here. But this is because we are going to um, Texas tomorrow. So it's TX2K, massive event this week, and we have a car racing. Our partners, obviously, aim performance. They've got quite a few cars attending. There's six cars in total. One of them is the, um, the ES UK shop car, the 997, that some of you might have seen on some other channels before, the grey one. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, a few of us are going to fly out. Me and Taha are basically going to fly out tomorrow and um, we'll be filming some updates. So some of the footage in there might be a bit bad because Shaz is unfortunately not able to come. So, um, But yeah, we'll keep you posted with that as well. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. And the boss, yeah, see the mug. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this GT3, um, Yaz sent down, oh, sent up, sorry, from Portsmouth. About five, no, not, what am I talking about Portsmouth? Plymouth, about five hours away. So the driver's waiting for it. He come this morning, uh, we ran it on the dyno. This is what he ran, baseline, 445 at the wheels, which is bang on and around about 500, uh, just over 500 horsepower, um, I, think, I believe it is. So it's a good, healthy, healthy base car. Danny's um, sent the read off to Emre, he's prepared a file. He's just changing the exhaust now, but um, but yeah, it's a beautiful car, man. It just goes to show that, you know, even if we get the car in the morning, we can have it all set up and ready to go back here in the end of the day. I mean, this car, customer's obviously trusted us without even coming with the car. Um, and we've got to make sure that we uh, repay his trust and we're going to make sure that it's going to get some, some good numbers. So uh, Danny's going to be on it today. He'll make some power out of it and then but that's the baseline, that's what we've got to work from, so hopefully we should see some solid gains. We've got the JCR exhaust going on there, um, so yeah, that, that's a really top quality exhaust system, sounds great, and it makes power. We put it on the dyno and on these cars, it makes genuine, genuine power gains, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Yes, yes, how's it going, mate? <laughs> bro, look at my hair. Looks good, bro. I need a haircut, man. I'm going to leave work early just to go get a haircut. Really? Yeah, look at his. I'm jealous now. <laughs> what time did you do your hair? Bro, it's been like two weeks. I've done mine on... But you know what? My hair's growing though. I didn't know my hair could grow. <laughs> when I did you get your hair cut? Saturday morning. Saturday, wow. Yeah. Fresh. Oh, man. Did you, were you off this Saturday? Yeah. That's why. Yeah, I was off too. <laughs> I had time to go get it done. Yo. So, today we have got this 991 Gen 2 GT3 in. I'm just fitting a JCR exhaust on it. Um, we've just run it as well. Um, the Mirs obviously explained the power it's got, which was 445 at the wheels, which is, which is right to be fair. So I think it's just over 500 at the crank. So I sent the file and that off as well to Emre. He sorted all of that out now. So I've just fitted the JCR exhaust, which is literally just turned up. So this is just finishing off fitting. I've just got to do the brackets and that for it. Once that's done, we'll get it um, all running up, get it all up to the temperatures it needs to be, run it on the dyno and see, uh, see what figures we could get. So I'm hoping we can push quite well on this. Um, I mean, the usual gains we get is always in the mid range, which is really good for these cars. The customer specifically um, rung me this morning as well and said, obviously he, he's using it for road use only, barely takes it on the track, which is good for us because obviously we're setting it up on the dyno and then we set up on the road. So yeah, it's gonna be really good for us. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, this car's lovely as well. It is really smart, really lovely color, nice spec. And now he's gone for the noise, which is even better. So yeah, we're just going to crack on with this, see how we get on, and um, I'll take her out in a bit and see what numbers we can get on the road as well. So yeah.
So we've completed the first revision on the tune so far. At the minute it's um, making 466.9 horsepower to the wheels, which is approximately 550 horsepower roughly. <coughs> <laughs> in the mid range, we've got um, peak power gains of about 38 wheel horsepower, which is awesome, especially from an NA car. So you can see the red graph there is the graph um, of when it was stock, and now the green is the tune and the exhaust on there. So obviously, driving the car on the road, it'll be a noticeable difference throughout the the, the red the red range. It's not going to be right at the RPM line; it's throughout the whole the whole uh, red range. Um, the torque as well especially it's quite increased again throughout the whole rpm range so when driving the car from day to day there's going to be a noticeable difference the owner of this car he didn't specify a sort of a track spec tune because he's not going to track it much it's more for daily use hence why we've concentrated more on the mid-range than trying to extract more power up top because this car is going to be driven more in the mid-range rather than uh, revved all the way up on the, on the track so I mean, yeah, we're happy with that so far, but Emery's gonna try another couple of revisions, see if we can get a bit more out of it on the mid-range. But 38 wheel horsepower so far is, is pretty phenomenal, especially for an NA car. So let's see if we can get a bit more out of it and then take it from there. Mike's growing his hair as well. <laughs> yeah, it's really broke. Yeah, I could, bro, I'm on my way. Uh, no, no, this is important. I need no, to go no, get my hair cut, bro. Listen, we're going to Texas tomorrow, and this guy's not letting me get his hair cut. Look how fresh he looks. <laughs> Fred, are you going to get another haircut today? You know what? It's called it's called organization. You could have gone last night. Excuse me. I said I'm going on Sunday. What did he say? <laughs> I thought so. Bro, I was ready to go get a haircut on Sunday, ready. He's like, nah, nah, bro, get it on Tuesday. You look fresh. Yeah, it's true, though. You would. Yeah, so fresh. I need to go get my haircut now. So we got Mr. Nazir's car over here, the brothers from Wales, they are getting some more power done like I said last week as well. But now they want to get some other bits and pieces done. These boys they change their mind so often, it's like they want XYZ and then they want ABC a week later. So, But <laughs> it's, it is what it is. But this car is one of my favourite cars actually, not just because of the colour, but it's just this down to business car, you know, it's got no pan roof. It's got the buckets from factory. Whoever specced it, they were just like, they just want a car that just does the business, you know? And that car is just, every time we do something on it, it just breaks records, man. So, yeah, it'll be good. It should be, um, should be fun when they get back on the OG battles with it. Let's see what Shahid can do on his not to 60. <laughs> so it'll be, uh, it'll be a lot. <laughs> done and this is the final power figure 475.9 horsepower at the wheels which is around about 560 so that's a massive massive gain over stock um, and it, if you look over here we will bring you up the comparison as well so the green graph is completely stock yellow is stock file with just the exhaust and then the red is uh, with the exhaust and the tune so as you can see in the mid-range the stock compared to exhaust and tune there's a difference of 40 wheel horsepower uh, which is massive and then again between the uh, just the exhaust and the tune there's still another 26 wheel horsepower difference uh, which again is is a, is a massive difference um, and that's the great thing about having a tool like this dyno you can see what actually works and everything's proven we can see the exhaust works it made a solid nine wheel horsepower um, with just that being fitted and then obviously um, the extra 30 uh, wheel horsepower with the, with the tune and the exhaust. So you can see the gains are genuine. We'll take it on the road and see what that sort of translates to in, uh, in draggy and real world figures. But 
like I said, this setup, it works well. You got the best of both worlds. You got some awesome quality from JCR and then you got the best in tuning. Emery doing his business and uh, making cars like this um, into uh, some real beasts for the street and for the track. So yeah, this is gonna be a real fast GT3 and uh, can't wait to see what it does on the road. Yo, so we are on the flight to Houston. Race. Just trying to get Wi-Fi. Uh, guys, look how squashed I am. That's not fair, they put me in the middle as well. Like, come on. Look, I feel like a little kid. Well, I'm not that big, but yeah. But yeah, we should be there in about nine hours. So, uh, and 17 guys, minutes. Yeah, keep everybody posted and, uh, and uh, yeah, keep uh, facing the camera soon. Welcome to this. Thank you bro, first time. <laughs> There's always the first time for everything, right? <laughs> we here. And everything. Was it? Don't fix it, man. Nah, nah, bro, do you see him? Like, wait, 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 bro. Are like, you too late? Hair, <laughs> hair. I wake up well, and the hair is like this. <laughs> so, right. yeah, yeah, I saw that, bro. You're lucky you, got, you didn't so get caught. So we, um, yeah, guys, we're, we are actually in Texas now. We're on our way to um, day one of TX2K. Today's going to be the roll race qualifying and um, practice run, so um, yeah, there's a few cars from AIM running. Uh, we've got the, um, the grey car, the 997 shop car as well, that's running today, so yeah, we're excited to see what happens. And there's some serious whips there today, man, some really, really mental, mental cars, so uh, yeah. The boys are all excited and ready as well, as you can see. Come on! Of, uh, oh, I'm just focusing on the road, like, let race <laughs> The race is still sleeping, it's not, it's not the race is not a great passenger, and I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll keep you posted throughout the day. Jamie's here as well, so yeah, we'll be hooking up with him later on as well, so it should be all good. But peace out, we'll catch up soon. Alright guys, we are here at Ames Camp, as you can see. Um, the cars are ready, the 997 is getting prepped for the roll race. And um, we'll see what this one qualifies at. We've got Dave's 901 here. That's uh, the fastest 901 in the world at the minute. Over half a mile and quarter mile. And uh, we've got the Ames 992 over there. Rise 901. Eagle's 901. So, we've got another 901 at the back here. Billy's one running 15 at the wheel this time. Just behind the race. So yeah, we've got some serious cars running here and uh, should be good man. Keep tuned, we'll keep you updated and let you know how it goes. But yeah, 200 was a uh, was a really good time, speed. It's the fastest in a Porsche's been here at Texas before. So yeah, let's see. We've got another couple of rounds of qualification qualification left still. So we're turning up a bit more and see what happens. We're documenting obviously the 997 Turbo. That's it. Um, obviously an ES car maintained and driven by AIM. And uh, yeah, it's going to be sick. Done 200 already in the uh, second qualifier. I think we're going all out right now, yep. right? Yeah, we're going a bit more now, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. So we're, we're going to see what happens. And yeah, it's all lit. Shout out to ES. That's it. Big up. Big up. Let's go. Unlimited class and uh, Joe ran up against uh, a really fast GTR 
as we won it for the last two years, and I think that's in the final now. And we just lost the, um, the GTR slingshot a little bit. My Joe came up with a 205 trap speed, and that was only with 65% throttle because there was an issue with the throttle position sensor. So um, it was really, really good results, to be fair. I think the car, if we had 100% throttle, would have gone over 210. But, um, but nonetheless, we gave it a good shot and it's the fastest Porsche has ever been at TX2K. Uh, there's nothing that's gone faster today that's been under 2500 horsepower. So I think it's been a great achievement for us. And um, yeah, man, we're looking forward to coming back next year with something bigger and better. So yeah, we'll catch up soon. Nah, just tell us your experience. How you? Experience well, was the first time here, like, just like me. Insane, like. Play with the big boys, you gotta come to Texas. That's it, that's that. Honestly. Look, you can freaking hear it. It's just it's madness. Every single place. I so many cars. Yeah, but these cars that are ribbon, they're not like eight, nine hundred horsepower. No, no. <laughs> these are like two thousand wheel horsepower. Yeah, I mean if you wanna be in with a shot, you've got to start at about fifteen, sixteen hundred horsepower right. and it goes up from there. And the bare minimum, that's like that entry point. Yeah, fifteen sixteen hundred at TX two K means like two thousand. Yeah, life, basically. Yeah. So it's like no, no matter where you look, you just see twin turbo Hurricanes, twin turbo RAs, Aventadors, Cowboys, Vipers everywhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've, but bro, I've never counted this many GTRs. What are we bringing next year? Bro? Well, this is the thing because. Um, I That's mean, coming this, back to the UK. That's coming back. It's it's back. It served us very well. Yeah, it, even in this event, it did very well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to get sure. 205, 206, this car is unreal. So I think we want to go for 220. No, you ignored the question. I ignored the question. Yes. I didn't ignore the question. I was getting to the <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no. All right. I think uh, my 997 Turbo that we're building is going to have to come here. Because That's it. I think we're going to. The thing is, if you want to, if you want to sort of make a point and genuinely try and race with the big boys, you got to bring it here. You got to race with these guys. That's because it. So Texas will be coming back yeah. next year 100%. with something bigger, better, and better. These boys don't mess about, and nor do we. So. That's it. This is the place to play. He's gonna be there. And big shout to Jamie as well. Yeah. He's a legend. OG all the way. But um, yeah, officially guys are coming out with a video on the on the 997 as well. And um, yeah man, it's really felt like home for us having the whole team around as well. So it's been sick man. So amazing experience. Yeah, man. Really good. Yeah. What do you say Robert? Bro, the sun is making me look sexy. Really fun, man. Yeah, yeah, nice. Anyway, first time. Well, it's my first time. Yeah. Well, you know what? Thank you very much for bringing me out. If it wasn't here, I wouldn't have come. No, no. It's been a good trip, isn't it? Right. That was amazing. Mm, yeah, Loved it. Really Every good. single second of it. I think um, I think we surprised a lot of people. Uh, respect for everyone that's come and met us. You know, a lot of people have shown us a lot of love and respect over here. So it's been wicked, man. Texas has been awesome. TX2K has been wicked. Epic event. And uh, AIM has always been wicked. Emory is a man, as always doing his thing, making us go fast, so yeah, big respect to everybody involved and, and whatnot. We're going 205, but we're coming back, man. Not with this car, maybe another one to Texas. This one's coming back to the UK. So everyone in the UK, watch out, we're coming with the big job. Right guys, thanks again for tuning in and watching. Please make sure you keep subscribed. By the time this goes out and you're watching it, we would have been finished up with our Texas trip as well. So hopefully some of that footage is in here. And hopefully it's good stuff and we would have got some good results out there as well. But stay tuned, we'll have some more on Jamie's Beast and the updates on that in the coming weeks. Um, yeah, and lots more as usual. So keep subscribed, keep watching and thank you very much.